you know, God loves you so much. And um, today I'm going to talk about how I could, um, how I became free from watching gay porn and all these stuffs. Um, and but at first, I'm going to explain why homosexuality is wrong. God loves you so much, and God created um, men in His image as male and female. But the devil likes to twist things, and um, devil's agenda um, to young generation today is homosexuality um, to lead people astray from the Lord, from having relationship with God, to have reconciliation with Him, to have eternity. And um, he, devil, um, likes to twist the word of God and distorts the order that God made, um, even to the point um, he wants to be a God himself um, when the Lord is above all things and he is going to put in, he's going to put in the eternal fire anyway and all things of this world will pass away. But God created us beautifully as male and female and God never, never forsook us, um, and He never forsakes us, and He will never, never forsakes us. He all, He's always with us, helping us. What breaks my heart is that I was a victim um, of the devil's pushing agenda of homosexuality through media and culture and education um, as a youth thinking that a homosexuality is right. And I, I went to a point where thinking that, oh, I might be a lesbian because I'm watching gay porn and I'm lusting um, after woman's body. Well, particularly I was not, I never dated women and um, I never considered myself as a gay person. But um, while I was watching um, porn, I would watch like uh, lesbian porn or gay porn and um, I would lust after those things because um, it gave me pleasures. But this this did not start as naturally. But before I get into my testimony, um, I first want to share why it is wrong. First, it is wrong because um, you know there was a massive study um, to find a homosexual DNA um, in 2019, and there was no single DNA that has been found as of uh, as as you can see in the photo here and um, so when you are born there is no DNA that specifically identifies you as a as gay or as gay or lesbian but you are just born as natural as it can be and your sperm does not go to other men and but to a woman so naturally our body our origin um, is attracted to um, another gender, but um, the devil has been distorting these um, for a couple of years. But especially um, in this, in this, in these days, today's generation through media culture and um, education system. When uh, so, because you're not born gay, you become gay, and you see the reason why there is such a high population of LGBTQ compared to other centuries, compared to other um, compared to other times like 100 years ago, 200 years ago, is because um, the society is telling young people that it is a right thing when it's not. So if homosexuality was normal and it was right, it would have um, had the steadfast population um, 100 years ago, 200 years ago, 300 years ago, but the population is, is, is just growing immensely because um, the society ha um, is now manipulating us that it's okay. Um, I've learned that homosexuality is also very spiritual. There is a spirit of homosexuality. And so when you, the person who was not interested um, in these kinds of stuff, when they are, when they are kept exposed to the culture and media, um, showing the love scene um, of male or females and like these, you know, like sexual sins. Um, at first they might have like, oh no, this is wrong. Your conscience, like it's it's wrong. Like I don't want this. But um, as you are kept exposed, you become like, you, you, have, you feel pleasure over the storyline and entertainment and you, you keep watching and you keep getting engaged and later you fall into the same pit. Um, but there are also the cases when young children have dreams of, uh, like, uh, 
gay dreams, sexual dreams, and um, I've learned that this is a spiritual thing, and uh, there is a homosexual spirit which causes people to stumble, and so we have to um, pray uh, and be alerted of these things. But for my case, um, now um, as I go to my testimony, I was I was very very um, I. At, I remember at first I was the um, type of person that would not really agree and feel comfortable of um, gay things, but um, I was very, very lonely, so I, I just wanted to feel loved, and then um, where I felt I found a community which I belonged in, which, uh, and that was actually a K-pop boy group, a community, and so I, I went to the fandom, and they had many, many BL fan fictions. And because I I just wanted to be involved in everything our fans were, I was watch I, I started to read uh these um eighteen plus fan fiction um just storylines and like all the at first it was just so shocking that because I was very young I was just so shocked that these these things exist um but um the more I read it there was a point where it was like it was like this like I. I felt so good um, when I was just reading it. Um, like, it, like something just came over me. I think at the point, um, and then like just got me in there. And so from that time, I got I became very addicted um, to read not only um, gay storylines, but I started to watch um, videos and. Uh, movies and i would i was i just became so obsessed with um gay stuff like and so i would i would read comic books movies and like many things and um i hide it from my family because i was embarrassed it was good that i had a conscious but i was very rebellious against my parents and like uh for me it was very weird i don't think it's weird i think it's like According um when somebody goes against gay or lesbian or something like that, I would react aggressively and angry. I think um this is a very spiritual thing. But then um as I shared in my testimony, um when I really, really just you know, when you're just in the presence of God, all your theology, all your mindset, worldview um, all these things, identities that you think that it was right, just fall down before God and um, just the truth is revealed plainly. Like you just know because you're in the presence of God and like he is light. And when light just shines upon you, you just know that it's wrong. And <laughs> like when people say, oh, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. Like it, it doesn't change you. Like it cannot change you. But when Holy Spirit just floods through you and over you, that's it like man human cannot change a person but god can change a person and um i like even though people will tell me that it's wrong the day when i could really change was when when i really had an encounter with god like when i just when i was just under the presence of when i was just under the presence of jesus christ because i was very i just saw um, because because Jesus was so full of light, full of love, full of full of every good things. I just knew how dark I was, and and when you when the light shines, um, just darkness reveals that it's darkness. And I I just I do, I didn't have to um, do stuff, so, but I just knew that it was wrong, and that day I. Since that day, just the first day, um, I never went back to watch, rewatch um porn or, uh, read gay comics or anything, and so, in order for us to be free from addiction, we need um, we need an encounter with the Lord with God, and so, um, praying to Him and spending time with Him and um being filled with the Holy Spirit just naturally, um, frees us from addiction and um enables us to bear fruit um, and the more we fall in love with God um, the things of this world just don't really matter and they just all pass away and um, yeah and so for those for those of you who are struggling um, in, 
with your identity addictions, I really um, suggest you to pray and go to the Lord. Some of you may feel really hopeless um, saying that like, I think God hates me, but God, you know, God called Matthew the tax collector. He loved Matthew and he freed Mary de Magdalene who was possessed with um, seven demons and she became his follower and he freed so many people who were demon possessed and they followed him and sinners prostitutes they were freed and they followed the lord and lord does not reject those who seek him but he delights in giving his inheritance to people who come to him because he jesus wants to have a relationship with us and he wants to free us and so um know that the lord loves you and he can free you um and even after i became free from um, porn or all these things i still struggle with um lust in my heart and that's why i rely on the blood of jesus christ um and so there are all there is there are still struggles in my life as well but god has been so faithful and so good and so let us have hope and uh, really trust in the Lord. Jesus is your righteousness. For those who became children of God by the seal of the Holy Spirit, Christ is living in them and Jesus protects them. Jesus protects them and he leads them. The reason why we can change and the reason why we can bear fruit is because Holy Spirit is living in us and because we're abiding in Christ. So let us always abide in Christ and um, let us always praise him and trust him and give him thanks. God is so good and I believe the Lord will bring, I pray that Lord will bring many um, children back to his arm and especially in our youth because Jesus has pain over our young people who don't know the Lord and rebellious but for those who had much forgiven, loves the Lord the more. And so Lord, I thank you that you forgave me of my sins and I thank you that you are um, changing many people in this time and Lord I thank you that even though there might be hard times and many hard persecutions against um, us from the enemy Lord you are with us so whom shall we be whom shall we fear God I pray for supernatural healing over the people who are watching and I pray that you will um, free people um, from addictions and I pray that you will bring light to young generation father no matter what humans say no matter what I say have no effect unless you Holy Spirit touches us and touches people's lives because Jesus you're the only one who can really reveal the truth and change people and I thank you Jesus so much that you are so good that you change us and you call us to repentance and have relationship with you how good you are oh god and how good that you changed me and you gave me a chance to taste your kingdom and may we never stumble father we wait for you to enter into your kingdom because this world is not our home and our heaven is so good so full of light we cannot wait to see your face jesus may you heal the pains and hurts of the people oh jesus you're so good and you're all holding us together. May we share your gospel to people who don't know you with boldness and strength. Help us, Father, because we're all one in your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.